What's going on, fathers, uncles, brothers, sons, daddies? We are back in the kitchen, and today we got a special treat. We're going to keep it kind of light today, semi healthy, but it's going to be very delicious. So on today's menu, we got some salmon, some sauteed broccoli, and some nice white rice to go on the side. And also for that salmon, we're going to make some delicious, when I say delicious, I mean delicious lemon butter sauce to go on that uh, that fish. And yeah, you guys stay tuned, and we're going to surprise our wives, our families, our kids, our daughters, mamas, daddies, sisters, uncles, the people in the attic. We're going to surprise them with a good meal. Stay tuned. So about this Zatarans here. So I told him I was gonna give him his credit. One of my co-workers, also my church brother, y'all seen him in the first video we dropped of the Sunday vlog. If you guys didn't see it, go back and check that video out. My brother Dak, man, he put me on this Zatarans black in the seasoning. When I tell you, this is the real deal, holy field, man. I can't wait to eat this. That cook that gave me a piece of when we was training at work. And man, I cannot wait to eat this salmon to show you guys how good it is, show my family how good it is. I'm telling you now. Hey, we are not sponsored by these people, but it's good. I'm telling you, hey, listen to me. Now if I try to put you on some game, listen to me now. Stay tuned, we coming. Okay, so you guys seen how to make the perfect rice every time. And so we're not going to spend that much time on this. Like I said, it don't matter how much rice you use. My family, we love leftovers. So we're going to use a good amount to last us for like a day or two. So remember, we want to wash our rice until the water runs clear. Just like that first video I told you guys. The reason why we start on our rice first is because the salmon is not going to take that long to cook. So remember, we want to wash our rice, drain this water out. And keep repeating the process until the water runs clear. So of course with our water, just gonna add a little accent. We are gonna keep it light on this because we really want our fish to shine. A little bit of black pepper. And just a touch of salt. And then we're gonna do a nice little scoop of butter. And then once that comes to a boil, put the top over it, put it to three on a stove, put the lid over it, give it like 15, 20 minutes, and you're good to go. We got our salmon out, and when it comes, get a zoom in, baby. We're just gonna pat it dry. Pat it dry, and what this gonna do is gonna help our seasonings stick on to the salmon. You never wanna have wet meat Unless you marinate it, and then you're good to go. But for the fish, we're going to pat it dry. The skin is already getting dry from the paper towels on the knee. And now we're about to season this bad boy up. So first, we're going to put a little small layer of accent seasoning on there. And then we're going to come with the garlic. And remember, you want to hold it kind of high so it can distribute evenly. You don't want no clumps. A little bit of, oh, drop the top. A little bit of adobo. And my favorite, well, my new favorite, if I can get this top open. See, you finally got the top open. And we just going generously put a nice crust of this blackening season on there. And I'm telling y'all, man, if y'all have not heard of this stuff, you got to, got to, got to get it. Yeah, we're gonna build a nice little crust. This, and hey, like I said, I never cooked this before. This is what Dak told me to do. He said get a nice crust on there. And I know he wasn't lying to me. 
Because when I seen it, I'm like, this brother put all this seasoning on this fish. But when I tasted it, you can still taste the fish because this seasoning is not overpowered. Would not overpower the fish, but you do want to get a nice crust. And done. We done. That YouTube magic right there. Alright. So whenever you start, you always want to start with a nice sharp knife. Make sure your knife knife is nice and sharp. So with this shallot, you're gonna come cut the top off. Cut the bottom off. Then we're gonna peel this first layer. And like I say, be very careful. This knife is really sharp. Let's go to that. Yeah, I got my daughter out to the side as my trash thing. <laughs> so y'all know everybody in the Chandler household. So we had to change camera angles, so all the children in the household we working. So I got my wife behind the camera, and then my daughter is a sous chef, whatever it's called. What is it called, baby? Sous chef. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So nice little slices like that. And yeah, we're going to do both sides. I'm still trying to get my knife skills right, but these things be so sharp. Hey, I remember... Put the camera on. One time, I feel like the camera all up in my face. You know you, you said in. put it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you look black. <laughs> Tell you, what should I do? Hey, we well, lucky you two watching. Hey, but I remember one time <clears throat> oh, my uh my wife dad had brought me this knife set, right? And my daughter was in this when I was in college. My daughter was younger, and this girl running around in the kitchen, like I tell her not to do. And the knife set, for some reason, bad parenting, <laughs> the knife set was on top of the refrigerator, right? So I'm like, Tajay, get out the kitchen. And she, like, bumped the refrigerator. And all, in my head, the knives was just going to fall and kill my daughter. So I reached my hand out to try and save her life and save me from going to jail. And a meat cleaver went straight through my thumb. Like, literally. It don't look big now, nah, but man, went straight through my thumb. I felt it on my bone, and it was just sticking out, just like this. I looked at the knife. I looked at my daughter. My daughter looked at me. She said, you're going to die. She started screaming. I started bleeding. Oh, my goodness. Fun times of being a parent. And I was at work. And she was at work. All right, so with these, we just going to come across, and we just going to give them a nice little... Nice little dice so they can fall in love once they hit that butter and that lemon sauce. Ooh. Put it down. I said, you're making all that noise, boy. Hey. <laughs> okay. hey, see how much trash I be getting as I be trying to fix a nice meal for them? See, if that was me, I'd the kitchen put, will be dirty. That's a fact. <laughs> And then I'll play it like I'm asleep when my wife get home so she can do the dishes. But, you know, here, no, there. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So, nice little dice. Just give me a bowl, baby. Okay. Like this bowl? Like, you wouldn't be smart boys like this? Yeah. Okay. So, as y'all see, whenever I'm cooking, my daughter is literally far from the kitchen, man. She always in here. And that's what it's all about, man. Teaching them at a young age how to cook. What season is tastes like what? Did you put dish and turkey in it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you good. <laughs> yeah. This girl. So, she told her to give me a bowl. This girl started washing dishes. So, it's so good to have your kids in the kitchen with you. I'm going to get this everywhere. Nope. Kind of. Oh, almost dropped it. All right. Step one. Now we get our green onions. Take these road bands off. Oh. You hear me? You hear me? Throw them in the trash. Yeah. All right. Down, Todd. Down what? So it don't be doing all that rocking. Oh. 
So we just gonna cut the butt end off of all these. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's called. Just like we made up the what it was, baby, corn beer. Oh yeah. We gonna call it the butt end. <laughs> because you know how the corn has like all that hair in it, like a boys has a beard. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, don't be explaining it to them. All you gotta do is tell saying. them. All you gotta do is tell them to go watch our old video, and you oh, gonna, yeah. they gonna they gonna get the, the joke. Crab video that we made. The one that we made so we're gonna cut that in half just to save time as we just gonna come straight through like this here. Yeah, I learned this from Gordon Ramsay, y'all boy. Watch this. And then we just gonna slice down. Slice down, just like that. Yes sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Couple more, couple more, couple more. And then that's good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And then they gonna be friends in a little while anyway. Oh yep. man. Drop it soon. My hands are clean, I promise. Yeah. This is why I say he gonna mess up the kitchen and the kitchen gonna be dirty. Hey, all I gotta do is focus on cooking the meal and eating. Make it a, a little bit as mess as I possibly can. What you never do. Oh, food be good though. Exactly. To, uh, hey, you can go sleep outside. Why well, is always outside? Why <laughs> <laughs> well, never sleep like no in the house? All right. Step that to the side. And then, we're gonna get this parsley here. Oh, no. We ain't gonna use a lot of the parsley. At all. Get this parsley, bunch it up real <laughs> tight like that. And we just gonna come through. And like I said, all this is going in, into our uh, lemon butter sauce. Yeah. Which we gonna drizzle on the fish yeah, yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And then that should be enough parsley right there. Put this back in the refrigerator and throw it in the garbage, girl. Okay. Put it in oh, the clip bag. Right. So give it a little better little cut in that. Bunch it back up. Did it in the refrigerator? Yes, ma'am. Good job. And we're gonna leave that there. Alright. This one. So we gon we we uh got some wild picked broccoli from the uh farm down the street from the whole down the street. Boy, please stop We got these good uh frozen broccoli. <laughs> That's delicious. And we just gonna start this out easily. His garbage person left the kitchen. I'm back. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we got this broccoli going in here. Mm -hmm. Hey man, this broccoli was picked by hand out of a uh, an organic patch. <laughs> and we just gonna dump some black pepper on that boy. Broccoli easy, man. Black pepper. Accent, as y'all can tell, man. I put this stuff on everything. It's my favorite. And then this is gonna be the kicker. This Kings, uh, Kings for Cajun style. No, we not sponsor. It's just good. <laughs> That's all you need. And once that sweat down, we gonna saute it some more, and it's gonna be ready to go. So to start, we just gonna roll our lemons to get them ready to be juiced. Man, that one kind of weak little lemon. <laughs> it's hard to roll them all out. Oh. All right, and then our pan was already heating up. Let me go wipe my blade on. Squeeze the lemon juice in there. Real juicy. 
Real juicy. Throw that away. Eat some nice juicy lemons. Get all that juice out. And then we're gonna let that reduce down. What that mean? That mean we're just gonna let all the water boil out of it. That's what this steam is. This is just the water boiling out the lemon. And we're gonna Okay, so we got all the seeds out real quick. All I did was just use a spoon, scoop them out in the heart. So once that reduced down, well while that that's reducing down, we're gonna add our green onions and our shallots to the mixture. Man, that smells good. Mm -hmm. So while this is Let going, that go. we're just gonna start incorporating some cold butter to make the sauce. And like I said, you just want the butter to start melting by the residual heat from the pan. And you don't want the butter to break, meaning you can see the oil from the butter on top of the pan. So let's turn this down to about a medium, low medium. And we're just gonna slowly work that butter in until it melts. And it's gonna give us a nice, velvety, smooth sauce. Okay, so last step, we're gonna add this parsley right in there. Tell y'all it tastes good. It's gonna be real nice to drizzle right over the fish. And again, we're just gonna take it off the heat. Perfect rice every time. Like my grandma Gwen say, you can see every grain. So we're gonna start off with a little extra virgin olive oil. That pan nice and coated. And then we're gonna come in with a little scoop of butter. And the reason why you put in both is because you just put the butter, the butter is going to burn. So the olive oil is going to help the butter not burn. Try to fire down a little, a little lower. We do not want this fish to burn. Go, calm down. It's going to be alright. It's going to be alright. Then we're going to start off with our more thicker pieces and we're going to go meat side down just like that and we're going to go two at a time and we're going to let that go for about two minutes on the meat side and we're going to flip that bad boy over let it go for about three minutes on the skin side and then we got the uh, a little too like a thermometer and once we're going to poke it in the meatiest part of the salmon and once it read 145 degrees internally we're going to pull it out but we're probably going to pull it out like 140 139 ish because as we let it sit the residual heat is going to keep continuing to cook the fish and you do not want to overcook no salmon nobody want no dry salmon This man be waiting for something to fall. Look at him eyes, man. He be waiting for something to happen, boy. But he know. Don't cross. Hey, don't cross that line. Tell him about the gun line, boss. You know better, huh? Yeah, hey, hey, but, hey boy, hey, boy, hey, boy. I wish you would. Boy, I wish you would. I wish you would. I wish, hey, I, I, I wish you would. So it's been about two minutes. 
we're going to get that fish and we're going to flip that boy. Ooh, nice and golden brown. <laughs> flip that boy. Uh-oh, do I got a little break? It's going to be all right. So get what? It's all going to go down the same way. Now we're going to let that boy sit on this side for about three minutes. But I want to show you guys an important step. So when it's on this side, you want to get you a spoon and you want to base the top of that. Just like you would do a nice steak. You want to treat this just like a steak. And you're going to go and base that boy. Yeah, you get some. So we got the rice. We're going to come on over here. Get us a nice piece of salmon, put it right on the rice. Then we're gonna get us a little of this broccoli. Put it right here on the side. And then for our wonderful lemon butter sauce, we're just gonna put that right on top of our salmon, just like that. And there we have it, dinner. And we have done it again. We done cooked dinner for our family. Tonight on the menu with salmon, rice, and broccoli. Dad's, father's, brothers, uncles. Don't be afraid to get in this kitchen and cook for our family. You guys, tune in next time for another episode of Fathers We Cook on Fridays. And we out.